Since Meghan Markle joined the royal family, she has often been accused of being difficult and demanding. Last December, her personal assistant reportedly quit after working with the Duchess for just six months. In 2018 biography Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams, author Robert Jobson claimed that before the royal wedding last May, Prince Harry, 34, raised his voice and yelled, what Meghan wants, she gets. There are also some allegations that the Queen warned Harry about Meghan's difficult attitude after a dispute over what tiara she could wear on her wedding day. Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer claimed, It is clear that Meghan is regarded as difficult and demanding by some in the family and on the staff. However, according to 2019 Channel 5 documentary Meghan Markle, Movies, Marriage and Motherhood, this is not who the real Meghan is. Two of her former teachers shed some light on how the now Duchess of Sussex used to be like when she was in high school. Christine Knudsen from the Immaculate Heart High School said, I got this letter from one of the students that was in her group. This student was very shy. She was very unsure of herself. Kind of a bit of a loner and Meghan wrote her the most wonderful, loving letter. Even though Meghan was not her close friend at all. I would just like to read it because this gives you a sense of this is a real Meghan. Dear Michelle, you are so strong and so wonderful, your courage and strength in times of hardships is as admirable as your optimism and friendly nature. I am so lucky to have you in my group and to be able to lead you on this adventure. Never stop sharing your beautiful spirit and always remember how special you are. I am here if you ever need me. I love you. Megan. Her other high school teacher, Maria Pilla, also revealed how the future Duchess of Sussex volunteered at a soup kitchen in downtown Los Angeles. She said, one day after class, Megan approached me and she said, tell me about serving on Skid Row. I suggested that she visited the place where I had volunteered because I knew that she would be physically safe there. She not only volunteered there a few times, but she continued to volunteer at the soup kitchen throughout her time at Immaculate Heart, which was through her senior year. Megan always took it a step further, not just distributing food, but learning people's names, learning their stories, because that's where I think her compassion comes from. Her connection with people. I think it's very important to know that her heart is in everything she does.